Hey everybody, here's a fun project I thought I would share with you. Now, it's in progress, but it's working. So, what this is, is a drill press from my grandfather that is from at least 1968. So, the deal with this is, the original motor that was on it gave up the magical smoke about a year ago, and so I was left with a really heavy-duty benchtop unit, but... No motor. So, I got talking to one of my coworkers and a friend of mine who is very good with electronics. And he f happened to find a treadmill on the side of the road that he told me about. So I went and picked it up. And what it had, when I scavenged it, was this guy here. Uh, I'll put a picture there so it's not out of focus. But it is a 2 horsepower DC permanent magnet motor with a controller. And it just happened to have the right shaft size. So I was able to rig it up like this and get it going again. Now, as you can see, it's kind of a rat's nest as far as the wiring is concerned. And the guarding is less inadequate. Although, apparently back in the late 60s, this monster guard, even though it's heavy duty, didn't provide a whole lot of coverage in the back, was considered adequate guarding. Maybe people just weren't inclined to get their fingers caught in things like this back then. Or they were more tolerant of <laughs> danger. Anyway, so I thought I would share how it works. So, what you've got is the plug coming from the wall, and it's going into a whole mess of places, but basically the, uh, the hot is switched with this light switch here, and that goes up to a light bulb in the housing. But basically, the um, hot and the neutral are right here, connecting to the controller, and the ground is just grounding the, uh, the heatsink plate there. And um, these other three wires coming off of the board just go right to this little potentiometer. So when you turn that up, the um, motor begins to turn, and you can really crank it up faster than it was ever meant to go. And if you think that's fast, you can see that that's on the most favorable <laughs> speed reduction when it comes to the uh, different um, pulleys you can set the belt to. But um, And then coming off of this controller is just uh, two more wires that lead around. Sorry for the jerky camera, but uh, that just feeds the motor there along with the ground. So that's it. Again, I've got to clean it up and make it a little bit safer, but it's working now. And um, my father was a little uh, skeptical as to whether or not a treadmill motor would have enough guts or torque at low speeds. So what we did was put a pretty big spade bit there in the chuck, of maybe an inch or inch and a quarter, and we just turned it on to low RPM, and uh, not that slow, but uh, it had... Uh, Quite a bit of guts, actually, at low speeds, so we got lucky on that. So if anybody out there is inclined to undertake something like this, it's kind of a neat, satisfying uh, result you get at the end there. So hope that was entertaining. Thanks for watching.